Okay, in this video, I'm just going to be telling you all about um, the Gen C for the PSP 3000 and uh, PSP 2000 version 3. I'm just going to be kind of showing you the new features and kind of just how to use it to the full potential. Okay, so the first thing you may notice is that your PSP will not turn off all the way. I'm holding it down. I'm still holding it down, but it just it just goes into sleep mode. It doesn't actually turn off all the way. So if you press select while you're on your home screen, uh, that's probably really hard for you to read. I know it is, but you should have, this is the VSH menu. There's things like game category, CPU, clock. There's some other things. I don't really know what they all do, but it might be useful for you. Now on there, there is shutdown device or reboot device. That's how, if you want to... Um, reboot it or shut it down. You just press X on those, or th you can also get to your recovery menu from here. Um, I would not recommend really messing around unless you know what you're doing because that is a good way to brick your PSP. You can just hit select to exit from that. And now another thing is here, I need to reboot my device real quick. Another thing is if like you want to install, uninstall the Gen C if you notice the first time you ever ran Gen C, there is a option that lets you uninstall it, but there's a problem with that. Let me... Okay, so the problem is now you're, you just want normal official firmware, and so now you're going to go to the custom firmware updater so you can uninstall it. Click, click X and let's see. Since you've already flashed it to your memory, it's just rebooting back into Gen uh, 5.03 Gen C. A lot of people think that just turning off your PSP and turning it all the way back on, just because in system settings it doesn't say you have Gen C firmware, they think that they're back to official firmware. You're not, because you flashed it to your memory, so it'll stay in there. So, and now every time you try to get to where you go, to where you uninstall it, it just reboots into 5.03. I'll show you if you boot it up and now hold the left trigger. Just hold it down this whole time while it's booting up. And now you're into the memory. You just press select if you want to uninstall it. Anyways, this just gets you back to the menu to where you can change things around. I'm just going to exit. And that that's just kind of an overview of 5.03 Gen C. Baby, I